a team of astro balloonists are stuck in space. When we last left our fearless crew, an overflowing toilet had sent the balloon off on a collision course with the sun. <laughs> We have to change course before we burn up. It's so hot you could fry an egg on Colin's forehead. Stop that. Sorry, I was hungry. This is what happens when you neglect your plumbing. The guild will never let me live this down. OMG. Isn't it beautiful, though? The universe, the galaxy, the beautiful burning sun. Uh, are you Instagramming right now? I'm just connecting with my followers. It may be my last chance. Done. Posted. I hate you. Can't you do something useful? If we maintain this trajectory, we're all gonna die here. Wait. Why are we changing course? It's Proxima's Instagram post. It's getting so many likes that her phone is becoming heavier. It's acting as a counterweight. Ridiculous. It might seem ridiculous to you, but my post just saved your life. You're welcome. We've come to rest directly above the United Kingdom. Isn't it beautiful? Apart from that big dirty grey cloud in the way. We're receiving another story. I think Proxima should read it. She saved us all from a horrible, fiery, eggy death. Oh, you guys. No, no, I couldn't. Okay, I will. Fly me to the moon in your paper balloon. Far away in a distant galaxy approximately 38.17 gazillion light-years from here, was a distant planet. A planet called Fongugu Head. Fongugu Head? Have you lost your mind? Well, we're currently hovering directly above a place called Crotch Crescent, so you know, don't judge. The planet of Fongugu Head was a beautiful place, where the sun never set. The sockweeds grew tall and free, and wild animals roamed. Bison, cheetahs, horses. Also notable fauna, including a flying bee snake. Oh, and giant dinosaurs that splash in rainbow-colored waterfalls. Giant vegan dinosaurs. And in the city of Fongugu Head, there lived a lowly janitor called Gregory. And while he mopped floors in a local nightclub, Gregory dreamed of... Fame and stardom! One day, I will be the most famous DJ in the galaxy! Give it up, you interplanetary masses, for Galactic Boy, Superstar DJ! The crowd goes wild! Galactic... Boy is a superstar DJ. He is doing the things that galactic people do on a Friday night when it's all um, do 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 galactic boy. Mmm, superstar. He. He missed the spot. Who cares? One day I'll be an interstellar DJ star, and people will travel light years and cross galaxies to see my gigs. Anyway, call me Galactic Boy. No. Gregory's one and only friend was called Johnny, who was a beaver. You're supposed to be my friend, Johnny. And also a cyborg. (coughs) Friends tell each other the truth. Also, I'm part robot, so I can't lie. You're a terrible DJ. You just don't appreciate my art, Johnny. Uh, Gregory boy, I'm telling you for the last time. It's Galactic Boy. Don't interrupt. That equipment is expensive, and you are not to touch it. Astrosaurus is very particular about her decks, and you know how she gets when she hasn't had her smoked tofu. Uh, now look what you've done. Get up there and scrape the cosmic gum off the pavement. And if I ever see you touch those records again, it'll be the last time you set foot in this astral establishment. (sighs) I hate cosmic chewing gum, Johnny. It always sticks to the spoon. Use the spade then, moron. Come on, Gregory. Setting teeth to speed gum scraping mode will be done soon. One day, Johnny. I won't just be sweeping that stage. I will be up on it. 
um, Gregory. I will be spinning those decks. Good luck. Tick boy, superstar DJ. Hey, Greg. Quiet, Johnny. I'm manifesting my future. Manifest, manifest. The most famous DJ in the whole of the no. Greg. What? There seems to be an immense evil-looking planet in the sky that wasn't there a few seconds ago. It's probably just passing through, Johnny. This is a communication from the immense evil-looking planet in the sky. And just to be clear. We are not just passing through. Please hold for an important announcement. Hold music. This is the music that plays while you're waiting for a real person. Talk to you about the things that you want to. Talk to a person. This is not good. I don't like the sound of that music. It makes me feel like I'm in an elevator or supermarket. Don't be silly, Johnny. It's probably going to announce a postcode lottery winner. What's our postcode? Thank you for holding. Commander X will now address you directly from the immense evil-looking planet in the sky. Inhabitants of Von Head, this is Commander X. And these are likely to be the last words you hear in your miserable little lives. In order to cleanse the universe of your pathetic existence, I will be destroying your heart. I could do it right now, but in order to create a sense of dramatic suspense, and knowing that anticipation is a huge part of a really effective suffering experience, I am beginning an arbitrary countdown. Goodbye, losers. You suck. Thank you for listening. Your planet is next in the queue. Your imminent destruction will be with you in precisely 3 hours and 34 minutes. Please hold while the countdown commences. Hold music. This is the music that plays while waiting for the real person. Talk to you about the things that you want to. Talk to a person about... Oh, broken decks, Johnny. This is a total wormhole, man. I know. All those people. No. I mean, if we're all about to be destroyed... Then I'll never be Galactic Boy Superstar DJ. Well, I'm a robot, but that's really lacking empathy. I know, right? I'm just such a galactically good guy. I've got to stop it. We've got to get up to that planet. But but how? Well, I have been building a teleporting car powered by strawberries. What? When did you do that? While you were manifesting. I knew that. Well, Well, let's go. It's called the Jiggy Juke. Get in. Oh no, Johnny. You're just a robot beaver. I'll drive. But you don't know how the controls work. Johnny, there are a lot of things in this universe I don't know. That's not exactly comforting. I'm just going to eat one of these chocolate buttons. No, they hold the wheels on. Ah, what's this? A laser! Ouch! This is the button. Don't press that. That turns me into a monkey. Oh, good. I'm getting the hang of it now. (laughs) This is the one. What does excavator mean anyway? Don't touch that. Here we go, Johnny. Three, two, one. Oh, what does that button do? Uh... Gregory, sorry, Galactic Boy, had unwittingly found the Jiggy Juke's teleport function and transported Johnny and himself onto the dark and forbidding immense evil planet in the sky. The planet of badness. I like the sound of this planet. That sounds scary. While on Fungugu Head Always Light, on the planet of badness, P.O.B., there was only darkness. Leafless trees stood naked and bare in the streets, where only a tiny dimp of light revealed their spooky forms. Dark creatures fluttered and scuttled in the shadows, and at every turn you could hear the screams of pain and agony. Johnny and Greg found themselves under a coal black sky in front of a dark and forbidding gate. This place sucks. Oh no! Look! The gate! It says no entry! What are we gonna do? Just 
walk around it. Yes, no gate is gonna stop Galactic Boy, Superstar DJ. Mm. Or anyone with feet or half a brain. Wait, who's that? Let's follow them. Peering around the corner, Johnny and Galactic Greg spied a tall, dark figure with long hair and a masked face. And then I will create an army of terrifying monsters that will destroy Fungugu Head using the goblet of Scrimshaw. And then all the horrible, disgusting light will be destroyed and chaos and darkness will reign. And I, X, will be known as the darkest lord of all. Darker even than my father. I, X, devourer of worlds, conqueror of the night. Come with me, my minions, and embrace the dark as we... Ugh. Hello, ex-devourer of worlds, speaking. Hey, old pumpkin, it's your dad here. I was just calling about Zogunflug. Uh, not now, dad. I'm trying to make an evil monologue. Oh, where was I? Oh, the moment's gone. Come on, Zayman, my multi-hyphenated animal pet. Which planet shall we devour next? I was thinking one of the fluffy pink ones. <laughs> Who is that? And why does she want to destroy my planet? And what was that thing following around? And what was that goblet of Scrimshaw? Goblet of Scrimshaw information point. For information on the goblet of Scrimshaw, press here. Okay. Press one for information about the goblet of Scrimshaw. To hear this information in Galactic Elvish, press two. Damn! I didn't mean to press that! Was created by the free galactic elves under the order of the great Emperor Scrimshaw so he could have an army to protect his empire. Whosoever drinks from the goblet will multiply with every sip. Each sip will double the number of clones including their original self. This artifact was created during the fifth dynasty of Kalak Manguinite during the intercession of and skip to the end. But after Emperor Scrimshaw's death, the goblet was lost in time, only to be rediscovered and used to devastating effect by Commander X, where it remains on the P.O.B. Planet of Badness, guarded by a terrifying umbrella-headed minion named Guardian Around Rad Relic, or GAR for short. Great! Sounds to me like we need to destroy this goblet, Johnny. I've played video games, I know how this works. Come on! Uh, and your plan is what exactly? Uh, every time. Fly me to the moon in your paper balloon. This must be the place, Gregory. For the last time, Johnny, it's Galactic Boy Superstar DJ. No, it isn't. Right. Let's split up and find this goblet. It's right there. That's what I said. No, you said we should split up. I say a lot of things, Johnny. It's funny. The information point said that it was guarded. A small creature with an umbrella for a head and wearing a Scottish kilt entered from the toilet after carefully washing his hands for 20 seconds. Oh, look how cute it is. Oh, you've done it, Johnny. There's hundreds of them now. We should have listened to me. You didn't say anything. I don't say a lot of things, Johnny. That doesn't mean we shouldn't listen. I've heard about these creatures. They're called Gars. They're cute, man. Look at that one. It wants to shake my hand. No, it wants to steal your passport and chop off your head. <gasps> Where's my passport? Duck. <laughs> oh, wow. That was close, man. I know. People don't try to chop off other people's heads if they're happy. And what's the one way to guarantee people get happy? Spin some fat beats on my superstar DJ deck. Why is that your answer to everything? Why isn't it your answer to everything, Robot Beaver? Yo, 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 what's up, all your crazy head chopping passport knickers? Do you want to party? <laughs> Yo, 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 this is Galactic Boy, Superstar DJ.
DJ. I'm in the house here to rock the world tonight. I'm rocking the universe. I'm a Mr. Stella fellow with a beat on the brain. It's going It's going to drive you insane, dog. Everybody, move your asteroids! It's galactic, boy, superstar DJ. I've got the universe in my bed. It's galactic, boy, the interstellar freeway. We're taking off and we're up on the land. We're going galactic tonight. Wow, they actually like it. Of course they like it, Johnny. It's sick. I'll go get the goblet while they're distracted. Whatever, Johnny. You do you. I'm playing to my peeps. Johnny the Cyborg Beaver crept through the mass of dancing guards towards the goblet. But just as he was about to grab it... Not so fast, Cyborg Beaver. Why is there a rave going on in my planet of badness? P.O.B. I know! It's like, well sick! No, it's not. We can't let you destroy our planet. <laughs> Why not? Because of the sick beats. Well, you clearly have talent. What? No, he doesn't. But unfortunately, your aptitude for spinning fat tunes can't save your music decks from being smashed into tiny pieces by my pet, Zayman. <laughs> oh my day! What is that? She has the head of a lion, has the feet of a bear, and the body of a leopard. She's as big as an elephant, as fast as a pike, and as clever as a hyena. Hello! Smash those decks! <laughs> no! My beautiful beats! And now you shall watch as your beautiful planet is destroyed. <laughs> Oh, I really liked Von Gugu Head. Meanwhile, on the soon to be destroyed Von Gugu Head. Three, two, one. Thank you for holding. Arbitrary countdown complete. Please rate your suffering experience on a scale of a. Uh... <coughs> Thank you for your feedback. Your suffering will be recorded for training purposes. Your destruction will now commence. Have a nice day. Not. Millions of monsters began to pour from the planet of badness down upon the inhabitants of Fungu Head. It's got an umbrella for a head and it's not raining. It's taking my passport. How am I going to get to Ibiza? The sky began to darken, the rainbow waterfalls turned to black sludge, and the vegan dinosaurs began looking hungrily at the inhabitants, back on the P.O.B. Watch them suffer! Behold the doom of the tiny people! I, X, shall be ultimate ruler of the nothingness that remains. <sighs> yes! Not interrupting, am I, Penelope? Uh, don't call me Penelope. It's X. And actually, I was in the middle of destroying... Good. A... Now, your mother and I have been chatting, and we really want you to get along to ours for Zogelflug this year. Would you like peas in your casserole? No peas! Dad, I'm a little bit busy. I'm about to destroy the universe, including a cyborg beaver and his DJ sidekick. What? And then I'm going to destroy their planet using the Goblet of Scrimshaw. Oh, I write the Goblet of Scrimshaw. That's the one that you use to multiply your monsters and take over the planets, right? Yes, dear. That's right. <coughs> Dad! Has it still got that diseased jewel inside it? Because you know that if that jewel is removed, the goblet can be destroyed and then you'll be in a right pickle. Dad! Because if that goblet's destroyed, of course, all your monsters will vanish with him. 
Funny story, actually. Remember when your Dad, uncle and I've got to drank go. all of them egg ha- I've got a planet to destroy. All right, pumpkin. Off you go, and don't forget to have fun. Gregory, we need to destroy that goblet. Use your headphones like a boomerang to catch it. Of course, Johnny. They were made in Australia. Ah, my goblet! Got it! And now for the jewel. Ha! The jewel cannot be destroyed by human hands. You will be blown into oblivion. Your world is doomed. Give up, losers. Mm, that's a tasty jewel. Little bit diseased, but nice. No! You've eaten it! Now, smash the goblet, Gregory. Don't you mean smash the goblet, Galactic Boy Superstar DJ? Oh, for crank. Smash it, Galactic Boy. Superstar DJ. Superstar DJ. Take that, you sick goblet! The monsters are disappearing! My passport, I'm off to Ibiza! No! My beautiful plan to destroy the entire known universe is in ruins! Oh, Daddy, I only wanted to make you proud. Hurry, Pumpkin! Just calling because I can't quite figure out the remote for this TV. It seems to be stuck on something called Pingo the Penguin, but it's in Spanish. You're always so good at these things. Have I ever told you how proud we are of you? No, you haven't. I've destroyed entire galaxies to make you proud of me. All right. A little bit of miscommunication then. Families, eh? Well, we'd really like you to come round for Zugglefluck. Yes, we want! We're making you a favourite. Live roasted seal puppies? Of course. Shall we see you there, then? Are you going to bring Zayn in? I've made her a kennel with its own dimension. Nice and warm. <laughs> Go on, then, Dad. Climb it to the moon in your paper balloon. Gregory, it's me, the unnamed nightclub owner from where you used to mop. We heard your track. It's become a massive hit down here. You've become an interstellar star. I want to offer you a gig. Headlining? Of course. Sick. Unbelievable. Yo, 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 people of the universe, are you ready for the next Big Bang? This is... Say my name, peeps. Gregory. Just kidding. It's Galactic Boy Superstar DJ. Let's go. That was fat. Yes, that was really, uh, sick, eh? I liked the bit where everyone was being destroyed. What an incredible story. Hold music. 
This is the song where we get. I'm totally going to insta this story to all my followers. A huge thank you to everyone who contributed. Leela and Patrick, Isla, Victor, Mally and Micah, Joaquin, Lila and Victoria, Sophia and Philip, and Rix. And a big thank you to Children's Theatre Digital for broadcasting us to the people of Earth. Uh, Captain Helium, I'm trying to get the engine going forwards, but we're not moving anywhere. I think you'll find we're actually going backwards. It's a tractor beam. High alert. We are being pulled towards an unidentified spaceship. This is the Great Floating Balloon. Identify yourselves at once. What's that? For all those who are following me live, we're about to make contact. Who has the balloon in their alien clutches and will the crew escape? Tune in next time for another episode of the Great Floating Paper Balloon Radio Show! Fly me to the moon in your paper balloon. To follow the balloon's adventures, don't forget to like and subscribe on your favourite podcasting apps. Leave a review and tell your friends. You can meet the characters, try creative activities and listen to all the stories on radioshow.paperballoon.org.uk.